Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Brooke and welcome to Freaky Fridays. If you're new to my channel, this is something newer that I started up. Um, I'm going to try to be posting every Friday or at least two Fridays a month and I've called them Freaky Fridays. It's just basically a little chit chat session where I share a spooky story or just something funny that's a little scary. And it's just to break up all the beauty videos and let you get to know me better. And some of you have like some of the stories I've shared. So I will post some of those down below in case you're interested to see those stories. Anyways, let's get on to today's Freaky Friday. So I happened to be talking to one of my girlfriends who's moving down to Tennessee. And it just brought back a lot of memories. My family and I used to travel to Tennessee and Florida a lot just because we had family in Florida and we love Florida but we also have family in Tennessee and it was on the way and Tennessee is on the way to Florida from Michigan so we would stop in Tennessee a lot and I love Tennessee I love the Smokies so if give me a shout out if you're from Tennessee and you're watching this or Florida but um I just love the Smokies I love mountains I am a mountain girl I live in the Rockies and I just love the mountains so some of my favorite trips are actually in the mountains whether it's the Smokies or the Rockies but I just started thinking about this one particular time this one particular trip where a lot of our family members were all down there it was it wasn't a family reunion but a lot of us just went at the same time so it was like a mini family reunion and um, it was around Thanksgiving time I believe and we, w we spent the day in Pigeon Forge having fun, doing go-karts. I know my dad did like a bungee jump and I thought it was like the coolest thing. I think I was probably, probably about 12, 13, somewhere in that. It's probably about 12. We went like on a ski lift and um, like I said, my dad went on like a bungee jumping. And I thought, and I thought it was like the coolest thing. I thought my dad was Superman, you know, like he was just so cool. And, um... So we had a blast in Pigeon Forge and the family, we all were in one big van together. We all got into it and we were driving back um, to where my family was. We were all in the van together and um, it was really dark and I don't know if any of you have ever been to the Smokies but there's a lot of wildlife. There's a lot of bears and... Um, there's just a lot of wildlife, especially at nighttime. You have to be careful when you're driving so you don't hit a deer or what, whatever. And we had been joking about Bigfoot and all this stuff. Well, I remember my Uncle Mike, who, um, he's actually my cousin, but I called him Uncle Mike. He's actually passed away a few years ago, but um, he was always a, he was always a, he was, he was always fun, lots of fun to be around. And he was telling us this really scary story. And like I said, we were driving through the mountains and it was really dark. And I can't remember this story to be exact, but we were driving and he was telling this story about this murderer that was in the mountains looking for kids because there's all of us kids listening to the story. All of us kids were listening to the story. So it was like, woo, you know. And he was talking about how there was this murderer and he was getting really like into the story and we were all kind of like just really quiet and listening and he said this um, guy was in search of these kids, he was in the woods and then all of a sudden the guy jumped out of the woods and literally as he says that a guy jumps out of the woods onto the road right in front of us. We all, we all scream. The timing could not have been more perfect and we all thought the story was true like we we're all freaking out and it was it happened to be a hunter and he had his rifle with him so having a gun you know when you're a kid and you're thinking of a murderer just like it added to the story and we were like freaked out even my uncle Mike he thought it was hilarious it could not have been better timing it's pretty funny it was it was spooky but it's funny that's a time that I thought was hilarious and I'll never forget it. But I do have another story from the trip I wanted to share. That one's more of a funny story. Um, so the real scary story, my dad and I, we would be the only ones that would get up really early. Him and I would get up like five o'clock 
and we loved to go for a drive in the National Forest to see what kind of animals we could see and every time we always got to see a black bear and this is a side note for those of you that don't know I love bears besides cats and dogs they are like one of my favorite animals I just love bears especially black bears so to see them in the wild is just like breathtaking it's mesmerizing for me and um, anyways we go for a drive and see what we could see what kind of wildlife we could find and it was just that's my most favorite thing to do in life is just drive and scout for animals I just I love it it's dare I I love it more than makeup and I love makeup a lot but I love wildlife and um, a backstory is before my accident I actually worked for the Forest Service for a couple years loved it it's just it's who I am it's like my pa like one of my passions I do love makeup and beauty but I also love wildlife wildlife photography wildlife conservation I just I love it it's a huge it's just it, I never feel more alive than I do when I'm out in nature I just and seeing wildlife and um, it's just a huge passion of mine. It's a, a huge love of mine. I absolutely love it. So anyways, sorry, moving on to the story. We went back later in the afternoon and my brother and my sister came with us this time. We got out of the car and we were walking and there was like a bunch of deer. So my, my dad had the video camera, you know, like the old school big video cameras. <laughs> and, um... So he was videotaping while us kids were like looking at the deer and we just kept walking. And all of a sudden, there was a bear that slid down a tree in front of us. And my dad was like, you know, just stay calm. Just sit, just stand there. You don't want to run away, which is true. You never want to run away. Most animals, especially bears, they have an insert nature. They have a natural instinct to chase after something. They have a natural instinct to chase after something, so if you start to run, they're gonna they're gonna want to chase you, and you never want to corner an animal. So there was enough space, and my dad kept the video rolling. He was gonna let the bear go off into the woods because we were near the street, so we were just standing there, you know, just letting the bear do his thing, slide down, and he was gonna walk into the woods. He was a happy bear, and. I wasn't scared at all, nothing. We were just mesmerized by it, thought it was pretty cool. Until this lady probably didn't, obviously didn't know any better. She walked in front of us and was like, oh, look at the bear, he's so cute. And she actually was walking up to this wild bear, this wild animal. And the whole thing is on camera, actually. So she walks up and my dad, it's on camera, the whole thing is on camera, and my dad, you can hear him say, um, ma'am, I wouldn't do that if I were you. And as soon as he says that, she walks closer and the bear, like, charges forward towards her, just like as a bluff charge to warn her, like, to stay away. She cornered him from the tree to the woods. He didn't have a path, a clear path to go to the woods. And that was... First, you never go up to a wild animal, and two, you never corner it. So she did two things wrong there. And anyways, the bear, like, bluff charged at her, and then he went to turn around, but she was so shaken up that she actually fell down because she was just so scared. And the bear, like, he turned around, and then he seen that she had fallen. He turned around, and then he seen that she had fallen, so then he went, he was going to go back after her. And this poor woman, I mean, she was scared, screaming, trying to get up, scared to death. And my dad, like, throws the camera to me. And I wasn't, I honestly wasn't filming. I just had it in my hands. But it happened to record everything. And there it is, my dad. He goes in front of my, this woman. And, and just like in the movies, I swear, I, there my dad is. He goes in between the bear and this woman while the bear is going to charge after her my dad steps in between and he starts clapping his hands and he's acting as loud as he can he's being as loud as he can and yelling at this bear to go away take off and meanwhile there's people behind my dad or behind the woman trying to lift her up and the bear just kind of looked at my dad a little bit my dad seen that the lady had gotten up 
he had them back away and take steps back and then sure enough the bear just took off into the woods that's all the bear really wanted but it was pretty scary because you didn't know I mean it just happened so fast and we were really young I think I was like like I said earlier in the video I think I was I think I was 12 or 13 and it was kind of scary because I mean at first you're like in you're mesmerized by this beautiful wild animal and then all of a sudden this woman's being crazy and going up to it and you don't know if she's going to get mauled before her eyes and then all of a sudden my dad steps in like this hero and completely takes control of the situation and I honestly wasn't scared for my dad. I was just kind of like, he's my hero, you know, like I was so proud of my dad. I just have always looked up to my dad so much and it was it was really scary because you I mean, like I said, you don't know if that bear was going to maul her or not. But it's something I will never forget as long as I live. And I remember, like, everybody was hugging my dad and thanking him. And they just couldn't believe that he stepped in front of her and in front of that bear. They could not believe that he stepped in front of that bear. Like, it took... It took Norts to do that. It's something I'll never forget. It was just the craziest, coolest... Scare, one of the scariest things um, but my view and love for bears still has not changed I still love bears and like any just like with any wild animal you need to respect them and respect that they are, respect them and that they are a wild animal and that's where they belong is in the wilderness that's their home and when we're in there and when we're in their home we need to respect them and we need to respect their home so that's just a cool little story I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys have any fun, scary stories similar to this or any wildlife stories, I would love to hear them. Leave them down in the comments down below so we can all read them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and God bless. Bye.